Hey, Ariel Hawani in cold-ass Las Vegas, Nevada for MMARated.com. And unlike the weather out here, the summer of 2008 in the world of mixed martial arts is going to be blazing hot. We've got a litany of events, great ones, coming up. And one of those big events is the Affliction card going down July 19th at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And especially online, everyone's buzzing about this one. Of course, you got Fedor going up against Big Tim Sylvia. But my big question is, does anyone outside of the internet community even know that this card exists? Is anyone going to want to put down $40, a significant amount of people, purchase this card, make it a success, and make a, the Affliction promotion a success? So last night, we went out on the streets, we went to talk to diehard UFC fans and asked them what their thoughts were on the promotion, if they even knew about it, were they interested in paying for it, and we got some pretty interesting answers. And take note, at the end of the video, some might say that we suffered the same fate as the Affliction card. Take a look, you'll find out why. Are you familiar with the brand Affliction? Affliction, sort of. Are you talking about the land brand of her clothing? Yes. 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 I am actually a huge Affliction fan. Yes. Are you uh, in the know that they will be soon promoting their own fight? Uh, that's what I heard. No, no, not really. Is it going to be a big thing or something like that? Yeah, actually, don't they have a fight coming up in Anaheim? They do have a fight coming up in Anaheim. Do you know any of the, uh, the big names that are going to be competing on that card? Oh, uh, I know that uh, Tim Sylvia and uh, Fedor is going to be fighting soon. Are you familiar with any of the names that are going to be competing on the card? Um, I am not. Fedor Emelianenko and uh, Tim Sylvia. Fedor and Sylvia. All right, so you're, you're sort of in the know. Do you know any of the other names? Uh, no. Do you know who uh, Josh Barnett is? Yeah, I know who Josh Barnett is. Pedro. Or the UFC, but now I don't know who he is. Pedro Hizzo? Yeah, old timer from the UFC. Are you familiar with the name uh, Josh Barnett? Yeah, I know Josh Barnett. Pedro Hizzo. Pedro Hizzo, he's coming back? Yeah, yeah they're right. fighting each other, rematch. Really? Yes. All right, I think that. Now, do you think that there is a marketplace for a new promotion? Will, will diehard fans, such as yourself, who are UFC fans first, first and foremost, know about this show enough to, you know, put down the 40 bucks? Do they know about Fedor? Do they know about, you know, the Mike Whiteheads of the world and actually make this show a success? Um, probably not, though. Why? Um, I don't know, I've always just been more of a UFC fan. I think that's like that for a lot of people too, that they're more UFC fans than MMA fans. You know, they have some marquee fighters coming up on this Affliction card. You know, I, I would, because I'm that big of a fan. And uh, the drawing power of some of the names, such as a Fedor or somebody like that, that intrigues interest coming stateside, yeah, I, I would. I would plug down another $40 more to watch it. I think um, you get the best fighters in the world fighting, it doesn't matter which organization it is, uh, you're going to have people buying the paper. Well, despite the star that Federer Emelianenko could be, I don't think that there's enough draw there, really. Yeah. You see, great show will get like 500,000 buys. How many buys do you think this show will generate? The Affliction show? Well, um, a lot of that will do, will do with the, the marketing. I first heard about it on the radio and, and the internet websites that a lot of diehard fans frequent. Um, I, think, I think it could do anywhere between 300 and 600,000 buys. Really? Yeah, I don't expect it. I, yeah, I don't. I mean, it, it, it can go either way. It all depends on, on uh, it's coming up in June, right? Coming up in July, July 19th in the Honda Center in Anaheim. All right, well, all right, well you're an optimist, I, I, obviously. Matt, my man, is an optimist. He thinks it's going to be 600. I think he's 550,000 over, but we'll find out. <laughs> right. Thanks, man. Are you, a, uh, are you a fan of mixed martial arts? I am now. All right, well, how about the, the clothing line Affliction? Are you a big Affliction fan? I am actually a huge Affliction fan, yeah. So do you consider yourself uh, mainly like a UFC fan, or do you enjoy some of the other promotions? Yeah. Oh, oh, our public relations guy. Yeah. Let me just say. Do the interviews, cameras. You gotta have a PR with you. All right, so I'm back in the hotel room, safe and sound, and. As you can see, we ran into a little bit of difficulties there in the last interview, and uh, it's kind of apropos if you think about it, because the Affliction show, of course, it's being dubbed as banned, and apparently I've just been banned from the MGM Grand Garden Arena. But have no fear, we're still out on the streets, we're still doing our thing, but as for the Affliction show, it seems as though it's a mixed reaction. Uh, some fans know about it, some fans haven't even heard of the main players involved, so we'll have to see on July 19th if they're really gonna crack this market. Personally, I think they're not breaking the 40 to 50,000 mark, but again, July 19th on pay-per-view, we'll have to wait and see. For now, I'm gonna hang out here for a while. I don't want any uh, funny uh, red-suited security men going after me. Peace.